Hey there, everybody. We are here with Axel. I got stubby. I am Sasha. And I am Royello. What are we unboxing today? Tommy was it? The way of the thief. Or your home device? Sent to us by the lovely Nissa. Yes, thank you very much, Nissa. We had a few shipping issues, so we finally got this one in. Otherwise, we would have had this video done a lot sooner. But it's better late than never. Yeah. So the story behind Kamiwaza is an interesting one. This is a game that was actually released in 2006, but it was only released in Japan, never localized. This game has actually got quite a bit of interesting uh, talent behind it. The folks who did uh, thief games like, or classic games like Tenchu, uh, Stealth Assassin, also um, Occupus Strip, um, Oh, as well as a, as well as a few others actually worked on this game. Like I said, it was released back in 2006. Ooh, look at that art. That is beautiful. Yeah, that green and gold shows up way better without the plastic. Oh heck yeah, that looks really nice. Yeah, I should have taken it off. First. I love the I love the the calligraphy, the the, uh, the ink strokes. Yeah, it's very pretty. Very aesthetic box, but. Yeah. Nissa pretty much always nails it as far as like making good pieces that'll look awesome on a shelf. And the inside of the box has a cool pattern too. You gonna get in that bed? He's debating. You gonna lay on the blanket? He doesn't know. We've got the Kotats on today, so they're not sure where to lay. Ooh. That's how it looks. So in this game, you actually play as a thief who has a bit of a... Uh, Robin Hood kind of story going on. So he used to be in this big thief group um, that would never hurt people, they would just steal. And uh, then an incident happens and that changes. So he quits the group. And then later on in life, um, well after he, he quits, the, the reason he quits is because a lot of people end up getting killed on a mission. And one of the children that is still left over, one of the survivors, he adopts and raises as his own. Ooh, that is pretty. <laughs> it it's, is. it's trapped behind cat booty, but it's very pretty. The character model looks very uh, Sengoku Basara. Yeah, you're right, yeah. This game has been remastered for this edition, by the way. So it also has seen quite a few improvements visually. So the dude gets his, uh, he basically inherit, or he adopts a daughter. And as she grows up, she's sick. So he has to find ways to get medicine because medicine is not cheap at all. Oh, these are pretty. Ooh, these are very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Let's... I love that you want to be involved, buddy. Ooh, super cinematic shots here. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, he's gonna take a really close look. So helpful, bud. <laughs> Good boy. Can I can I get this one, buddy? Can I get this one? Yeah. There we go. Thank you, bud. I appreciate it. Up. And there's one more. <laughs> so these are thick art cards. I really like the way they're they're painted. These look nice. Yeah. Like you could, like you could like throw these into uh, like frames and throw mm -hmm. them on your desk, like little frames. You know, who needs who needs family and stuff on their on their desk? <laughs> and game art. They have some game art. I love the Sumi style of it. That thick black ink lines. Comes with a physical soundtrack. We love to see it. Piece of plastic. Nissa is not very good. Nissa single-handedly keeping hard uh, hard disc soundtracks alive. Yeah. 
This is resting on Axel's back right now. So how many tracks we got on that bad boy? Uh, let's see, we got 26. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah, that's a thick soundtrack. The soundtrack for this, I haven't actually played the game. I remember wanting to play this game, but I never got to. The soundtrack, we've got it playing in the background right now. It's actually like a mix. It's like a Japanese, like almost, like almost Japanese or like samurai movie style traditional showdown soundtrack, but like with a little bit of noir mixed into it, like stealthy noir Japanese. Buddy. <laughs> You are all in the nonsense today, aren't you? I believe this is, uh, I forget what the Japanese word for it is, but the... The knapsack? Yeah, the thief bag. Which actually is a mechanic in the game. Ooh, that is huge! Yeah. Holy crap! So you crap. could actually, like... You, it's like yeah. you could, the real thing. You could wrap up a cat. Yeah. And you carry your cat Steal. on your back with you. Yeah, exactly. Perfection. Look at this. This is the best advertise. This is better advertisement than us talking about it could ever be. Look at this. Perfect. He seems to like it. Nice and warm. You good, buddy? Sniff, sniff. I don't want to be all the way in it. Uh oh. Came untied. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. Uh-oh, it's giving him the zoomies, I think. Like being under a blanket when we're changing the when we're changing the bed. Yeah, he's gonna wreak havoc. I'm gonna I'm gonna get the guard cards to safety. Oh, but as I was saying, um so the the thief has this, basically, this this um, daughter with an illness that he needs to get medicine for. So the whole gameplay loop relies around going out and using your knapsack to steal items that you can sell to get medicine for her. So every day you go out into like a small sandbox town where you have to go and steal things. Now as you steal things, your bag gets bigger. And... People at first don't know who you are, but if you're not careful with how you do the thefts and with how, bag your, how big your bag gets, um, people will start to notice you and see you, and you're a thief. You're not a fighter, so while you do have some Look means, at the size of it. Yeah, it's huge right there. It can get really big. Like, the, the more you steal, the bigger the bag gets and the more, more uh, notorious you look or the more um, criminal you look. So people will report you to the guards, and uh, since, like I said, you're not a fighter, you could end up in trouble even with just dealing with civilians. So it's definitely a stealth game, but it's stealth with style. You're not, like, just sneaking around. When, the, when anyone is about to see you, a little marker appears above their head. And if you hit the button in, just in time, uh, you'll actually evade their vision with, like, a... A shadow version of yourself, a clone. And if you do this well enough, it earns you style points. And those style points are what you use to buy new abilities. So it's like a almost kind of stylish, like thief game. It's actually got way more mechanics than that. This this game, from what I've read about, is a uh, very mechanic heavy. So. It sounds like it's got quite unique gameplay. It looks really similar to Tenchu in gameplay and setting. So is that everything from the box? Yes, box is now empty. So, here are all the things. Let's see if we can get out some of these art cards without him. I, I think he's happy. I think he's happy on the knapsack. <laughs> he really likes it. Let's set that there. Let's put that there.
There you have it, guys. <clears throat> this is, in my opinion, my very biased opinion, probably the best that this game is ever going to be laid out for any kind of marketing <clears throat> on Cat. So, with this one, you're going to get the awesome shelfy box that looks very nice. I kind of like the back side of it. I'd say both sides are really nice. Yeah, the kanji is nice too. So the awesome box, you get this Tengu pen, the art cards, that hard soundtrack, hard disc, no <laughs> hard soundtrack. Oh my. You get this, this, the game. You actually do get the game. That's great. Right? I like when my collector, collector's editions come with actual games in them. As it should. And you get a full size. I really wish we did know the name of this, but knapsack. Yeah, I can't remember what these are called. But the fabric's nice. It's got this texture to it. And this thing is practically like a cosplay prop, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat's a little bit scratchy. I think you'll have to finish this out. Uh, I think that covers it for this collector's edition. So, like subs, all that stuff's up to y'all. What we do ask for around here is if it's within your means, consider adopting or rescuing a buddy. Cat, dog, whatever you feel like. And if you can't, you can also go volunteer and still spend time with the guys. Or you can donate money, or blankets, clothes, sheets, office supplies, all kinds of stuff. Google your local shelters, see what they need. You might have something they could use. Yep, so if you got love to give, love to show, there's plenty of ways to give it, plenty of ways to show it. And unfortunately, there's plenty of animals out there who could use that love, so show them what you got, guys. And speaking of love, we love you. And remember, buy your fun, not your fam. Adopt, don't shop. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You want to purr so. us out, Axel? <laughs>